Hello, uh, my name is Ali and I am the site pastor for Catalyst Vineyard Church Stonehaven. And as we enter this week running up to Easter, which uh, is sometimes referred to as Holy Week, um, a number of the churches across the town of Stonehaven, uh, we're uh, gathering together, taking time online to participate in these devotionals. And as we progress through the week, uh, we're each going to be reading a passage from the Easter story and then giving a short reflection for us to think on and uh, reflect on. And maybe for some of us, we'll be familiar with these stories and maybe uh, we won't be. But all are welcome to join us uh, as we journey uh, as the churches of Stonehaven uh, through Holy Week to Easter Sunday. So today uh, is Palm Sunday, uh, which is the last Sunday before Easter, and we're reading from Luke 19, 28 to 40. After Jesus had said this, he went on ahead going up to Jerusalem. As he approached Bethpage and Bethany at the hill called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and as you enter, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, uh, why are you untying it? Say, the Lord needs it. Those who were sent ahead went and found, just as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, why are you untying the colt? They replied, the Lord needs it. They brought it to Jesus, threw their cloaks on the colt, and put Jesus on it. As he went along, people spread their cloaks on the road. When he came near the place where the road goes down the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began joyfully to praise God in loud voices for all the miracles they had seen. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven, glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. I tell you, he replied, if they keep quiet, the stones will cry out. In this passage, we see the entry of Jesus into Jerusalem uh, for the final time, as he knows he will be going to his crucifixion and death in this week. And the passage is titled, Jesus Enters Jerusalem as King. And from it, uh, we can see an aspect of how Jesus is King and how that's different to what we're used to and a way to respond to him. I don't know about you, but the way Jesus enters is not like any other king I would know. Uh, If a king or even famous celebrity were to come into Stonehaven this morning, I imagine uh, they would have security guards lying in the street. The security guards would probably be speaking into their uh, sleeves. Um, They would be in a limo or similar. They'd be blacked out windows. And if you're lucky, you might catch a glimpse of the king, but most likely you wouldn't be able to see them. In those days, when kings came back from wars, there was this massive procession that came before them. Uh, The riches and spoils of war, the prisoners captured, the victorious army, and then finally the king on a horse mounted high above the crowd to be seen came in in this procession and to remind people that he had reigned over them. All the exploits and spoils of war before him showing that he reigns. Jesus comes riding on a colt, a young donkey, smaller than most and certainly smaller than any horse. He would have been on eye level to the people. You see, Jesus is a humble king. He's a king who doesn't lord it over us, who doesn't show his power in that way, but comes down to our level and is present with us. Philippians 2 tells us that Jesus made himself nothing, humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Jesus is a king of humility. Rather than pushing away from others, he draws himself closer to his people, to humanity, to allow people to have relationship with him. He's a humble king, but how can we respond? One way in this passage we see is they lay down their cloaks. They serve Jesus in different ways. They lay down the cloaks for the, on the road to be laid down in the branches as well. In those days, laying down your cloak would have been a sacrifice. The cloak was a symbol, a status symbol. It carried weight. If you put it down on the dusty road for anything to go over, the chances are it would be ruined by the time you picked it up. If we accept who Jesus is, that he is the humble king, We can lay down our cloaks. We can sacrifice. Jesus is a king like no other, on our level, willing to give up our royal kingship for us. And one way we can respond is by giving up what we have for him.
explore his teachings, investigate him more, and find out what it means to follow Jesus. And maybe you're going to do that journey this week. And one way that we can do that, one way you can do that, is through an incredible course called the Alpha Course, which is an introduction to the Christian faith. It's free, and there'll be courses running online after Easter. And uh, just finally, just I want to say thank you for watching, and uh, keep tuned in over the week as we hear more from the churches in Stonehaven, and as we continue the Easter story. Have a good day. Bye.